Emuntu muza chama wembera na kunirwe. Emuntu muza chama wembera na kunirwe. Emadatizo na shida. Emadatizo na shida. Ongengo? Ongengo? Boko ragere, toje. Oh. Wachi hapo? Eh. Kwa machina, mimi naitua Daniel Mosima. Stage name ni Mr. Ongengo Ebirombeta. My name is Gilbert Okari, aka Jill O'Neill. I'm the CEO and founder of G-Hood Factory, a company that deals with music production and sound engineering. And uh, I'm also the vice president of Base Jam Media, which deals with uh, animation and uh, commercial production. Uh, I'm Smiki a champion. Nilijuana na yeye wakati nilikuwa Kisi Town. Kisi Town ni town ya kwetu huko Kisi ndio headquarter ya Kisi. Hapa sasa vijana wakimaliza shule hapo ndio wanakuja kuwaso. Mimi nilikuwa mzani mzani mkubwa, nilikuwa nimeshatoa nyimbo mingi. Sasa ili hapa ni tu. Benye nilikuwa nakaa kwa apartment fulani. Na mingi alikuwa nakaa hapo kama naima yangu. Alikuwa nasikianga tu nikifanya mazoezi yangu ya mziki. Eh? Anakuja anaangalia. Hmm? Baadaye akakuja kaniambia yeye eh, pia ni msanii, alikuwa anaimboka kwa shule na ameshatoa toa nyimbo kidogo lakini ni ni kizazi kibia. Na wakati huo kwetu kwa wakisi kizazi kibia kilikuwa kinajulikana sana, akikuwa anatambulika Yo kadi tunaweza sema nani hivi tuseme kutoka kutoka nyumbani hivi nani hivi tunaweza sema alikuwa kizazi kipya mwenye watu kidogo wameanza kusikia. Mwenye alikuwa juu kidogo. Kuna mjamaa alikuwa anaitwa Migi mwenyewe pamoja na mjamaa mkuu anaitwa Adamare. Adamare. Eh, Adamare alikuwa. Adamare ndiye alikuwa juu. Hiyo kisii. Hiyo wakati. Eh, akifuatwa na akina Migi, kulikuwa na wengine akina virusi virusi yeah. alijaribu akaenda akawaja ya sijui nilimkalia acha utakuja kumuuliza akwambie yeah. yeah. eh yeah. mimi nilikuwa naimba secular wao wakimba kizazi kipya mm. sasa ikafika wakati mmoja mm. uh, miki akakucha penye nilikuwa jua alikuwa naimba yangu sasa kila siku tulikuwa tunakutana besides music tulikuwa tunafanya mambo mingi na yeye yeah. mm. sasa ikafika wakati mmoja kuna mjamaa alikuwa anaitwa Deno. Deno alikuwa msanii kwa kisi. Na yeye wa kisasi kipya. Akaaga dunia. Kati aliaga dunia. Ju ni kama tuliende tukachiunga kama wasanii wa Kisi Town. Nikoatengeneza kama kachama hivi. Hmm? Kwa kina hawa wote sasa ma DJ nini akina DJ White. Tukaungana sasa tutengeneze song ya kulilia huyu deno wetu alikuwa ameenda mwenda zake sasa kuna song yangu nilikuwa nimeimba Rikrunyau Rikrunyau tukaongea na Migi tukasema tu tuivanye remix oh. mm hiyo wakati sasa jina Migi ilikuwa imeanza kutoka toka eh ama watu kwa sababu wako wamemjua si alikuwa anajulikana tu lakini kwa kizazi kipya mm. lakini kwa hii ni fans wangu mm. uh, fans wa wa kikisi eh au akuwa anamjua sana alikuwa anatambulika tu kwa vilabu mm. eh, kwa hiyo eh, H site tu eh, mm. sasa wakati tulitoa hiyo pole pole hiyo mm. eh, rikrunyau tulifanya remix tukaita pole pole eh. tukafanya na yeye ai eh. hapo ndio ili hit sasa nani alikuja na yeye idea ya kufanya hiyo wimbo tena hiyo wimbo yako rikrunyau nani alikuja migi ama ni migi migi eh. migi ndio alikuja kaongea na mimi eh walikuwa anaona kuna wakikuju wengine walifanyanga kama kitu kama hiyo yeah. kuna mkuu mwingine alifanyanga kama hiyo eh 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 tuko mbele tu. So mlienda hiyo hiyo wakati mko Nairobi. Mhm. Mkaenda studio gani? Mkaenda kwa studio, kuna studio ya kuna mjamaa anaitwa Giro. Giro. Mhm. 
ana alikuwa anajiita sio chiwood chiwood record chiwood record eh hapo ndio tulienda tukachapa hiyo mara moja hivi ikatoka na ikahit tu nani alilipia studio lakini ni wewe nakumbuka eh ni mimi ni wewe ulilipa migi alikuwa chini kidogo kifedha so migi i knew migi back in the days 2000 and i think 5 hapo 6 sorry after high school eh so tulikuwa tu tuna peruzi peruzi hapa na pale migi siku moja the guy walked into my studio alikuwa ashafanya song it was an r&b i remember song it was a r&b song which I'll, he had recorded with slow there was a guy who used to own a studio in uh, uhuru plaza it was called uh, 34th <laughs> hey 34th records song yenye ilgo inaitwa shake so the song had an r&b feel and uh, the guy wanted to transform your song ikwe like uh, raga cuz yeye ni mtu wa raga damu alikuja akaniambia nimefanya song hapa but man nimesikiza sikiza kazi zako hapo ibu do something do some magic so i asked him do you have the three piece uko na three piece ama uko na nini how are we going to go about it then akaniambia yeah i have the three piece nimefanya nishafanya uh, nini audio I have the beat and then the song now and kaambia sasa leta hizo ni kuonyesha venye hizo vitu zitafanya so uh, he brought the trips i remember it was on friday so uh, nikachukua three piece vocals kaanza ku lay track one by one so um, over the weekend nikawakia hiyo track and then uh, coming on monday nikam call nikamwambia man you need to hear this akakuja <laughs> akakuja and then uh, nikamchezea track we sana tu msee ana smile ana smile too <laughs> the track was awesome from the look glalikuwa naonekana tu from the face eh? and uh, i remember that, that was our first song the very first song and we started sasa kutoka hapo kufanya sasa tukaanza kukua close tunaanza ma project one at a time and tukakuwa uh, close friends sana yeah but then uh, come 2007 eh, i moved to nairobi kamwambia you know man i have to look for greener pastures sasa wakati huo tuka tuka tukaanza kuenda sasa mambo ya discos mimi kuna wakati mmoja ali join carnival yeah. mm hapo carnival ndio tuli launch hiyo song pole pole sasa ilikuwa ni ni gani event gani ilikuwa gani kuna event ya wakisi ilikuwa inaitwa Isaka Saka. Mm. Wakati nimeimba zangu nimemaliza mm. sasa nikaita Migi nikamwambia acha tuwaonjeze kwa kitu kwa hapa. Mm. Ah ilifanya watu wa simu. Hii wakati Migi hata kamera walikuwa wanashika hivi yeah. walisahau. Wakaanza kudance. Wakaanza kudance. Migi alikuwa ameitwa kwa hiyo show kweli. Hakuwa ameitwa. Hivyo wewe ndio uliamua tu. Alikuwa Migi alikuwa anapenda muziki. Yeah na alikuwa anataka aitwe lakini anaguisha aitwe lakini alikuwa achafikia <laughs> sasa alikuja kuwa, kuona muziki tu akikuja juni mzanii mm. na tunajuana na yeye lazima akae penye na kaanga hapo penye wasanii wanakaa VIB tukinga wacha tuenda kwa stage yes yeah. yeah, nikakumbuka nikamuita oh. akakuja kwa stage wakati tuliimba hivi mm. ndio walitambua migi sasa hmm? eh, kama kama msanii wa kikisi kama o, o, msanii wa kikisi eh. baadaye tukakuja tukaimba song nyingine inaitwa Mamisment. Yeah. Dani alikuja na idea ya Mamisment. Mamisment sasa bia ni mimi. Mm. Mm. Eh pole pole ni migi mm. kama Mamisment sasa ikakuwa ni mimi. Yeah. Mm. Sasa nikaenda ni nilifikiria tu mambo ya harusi tu nilikuwa naitwa ngo harusi. Nikienda harusi huwa naimba ndururu peke yake hii ndururu yangu. Naona kama ya hii ndani na eh nikaona wacha tutunge kitu yenye inakaa ya harusi tena najua watu wanafanya anga haruzi ni mayuth unaona lazima niweke flavor hiyo ya kiyuth <laughs> ndio wapenda tukachapa hiyo mamisment ikaiti mpaka saa hii so nikakuja Nairobi then migi nikaona ako consistent sana he wants to aendelea na hii kitu but i think alilearn alipata ka job fulani hapo siji dawa no <laughs> dawa no sasa he hiyo alikuwa anaenda marocho So tulikuwa tuna keep in touch na mwambia man unafaa ukuje Nairobi tungangane na hii maneno eh? 
Because MC mnoma hiyo time He was very good kwa ku MC Hata sahi I think he still does MC He still good So vila hizo harakati hapa na pale ni kamambia Funga virago tu at least kuja Ndiyo Ilikuwa don home Yeah So hiyo studio There is a there is a friend of mine alikuwa ametoka US eh? so we partnered eh? he used he, he was called Evra so we we, we used to kozial kwa shanza nini kamwambia no we can we can be partners and open a studio so that's where that's when we we opened a, a studio at that time with this guy and uh, it was doing good it was doing good so happened to record na fanya all our projects Evra records yeah combined sasa na June because now June would up your time sasa ilibidi kwanza I, I keep it on the low yeah at least so uh, we did the song tulikuwa tunafanya hiyo nini nare nini then Migi alikuwa anakuja nini sasa unajua he used to be a rapper now on kamwambia this this rapping thing it's good eh? but i think uko na potential if you can sing if you can blend in and uh, incorporate some melodies your music is going to take you far so hiyo transition sasa ya kutoka rapper kuja singer wewe wewe tuliona mlima sasa hapo ndio hapo ndio maneno iliharibika the guy used to come and ndio akona idea ameandika song poa and then uh, ku rap sasa anataka i rap hadi chorus hadi chorus na mwambia okay see vibaya kuna songs zingine i know some great great kids zenye watu wame rap chorus but you know it's easier for for want to create a, a memorable song eh, when you sing cuz melodies are catchy sa zingine so hiyo transition kamwambia you need to pr- start practicing how to sing so i remember alikuwa anakuja one one friday i think uh, nilim, alikuwa amekuja he used to come on friday anakaa weekend f- yes to record eh aka saturday sunday then anarudi tena job so i remember there is a day alikuja na song nyingine yenyewe nikamwambia iwezi aka inabidi urudi kwanza <laughs> you polish it ndio kuja nikaona analeta ma feelings kwa kazi nataka <laughs> kukatch hata zijukumbuke hiyo ngoma sijui sijui ilikuwa inaitwa wote wawili wote wawili now yeah. didn't do the video for the song but it's a nice song eh? I think when I play up what do I ski. Your song eh tuli ali tuli tulipitia tuli a lot sana ku record your song because I think it, it was the first song when I'm transition sasa kutoka rapper to a singer. Yeah so hata saa zingine hiyo story anasemanga siji anasema nilikuwa namuonea hakuna kumuonea nilikuwa namuonea ni ni masikio ndio haikuwa ya muziki. Yeah. Tuka <laughs> kucha <laughs> tukaitwa Dubai. Mm. Choya kwanza kabisa. Eh, combination yangu mimi na Migi mm. iko inakuanga poa juu iko na fans wa wale yote. Eh, mm? eh, Migi eh. anasimamia vichana na kwenda chini <laughs> na mimi pia ni vichana na kwenda juu. Eh. Eh, sasa una, kwa event yetu unakuta kuna wazee na vichana na wote wana enjoy. Mm. Wa ma producers wa Dubai mm. walifikiria wakaona hii kitu ikileta hapa itatesa. Wakatuita Yo tukaenda Dubai tukaribu. Yo ni mwaka gani sasa mmeenda Dubai? Sio kitambo sana ilikuwa ni 2015. Eh hata yeye alikuwa na mimba ntu aruara wakati huo. Oh, mm. Okay. Eh yontu na kina Fekta, kina Babchi. Mm. Kwa wameungana wakaimba ntu aruara. Mm. Eh. So hiyo mara ya kwanza kabisa mnatoka India Kenya. Eh Dubai. Uh-huh. Tukaenda Dubai. Tukachapa na yeye tukichapa hiyo show ilishika. Uh-huh. Juu ilikuwa live kwa Facebook so your media yote eh. wa US wakaona wakasema <laughs> wake hata sisi lazima watu wakuje mm. si US wakatuita tukaenda tukachapa show ya kwanza state cars ka sita hivi mm. eh tulichapa Texas yeah. tukachapa Minnesota mm. eh, tukachapa Indiana mm. tukachapa New Jersey yeah. tukachapa North Carolina na ingine ingine ni gani ile New York na New York mm. 
hapa tukachapa tukaharibu kabisa <laughs> so akarudia uh, vila alirudi at least next time vila alikam sasa enye hata mimi nikawa nikaona eh it's not easy to transition from rapping to singing so at least tukakaa chini we try to to reason together to compromise eh? at least to make sure your song ime imekuwa song poa so tukasaidiana hapo kama na melody ana nini hivi song ikakuwa tight ndio song ikaiva sasa kutoka hapo vila alienda i think alienda aka think twice i think aliona hiki to see mchezo because i think uh, he was sort of like thinking singing is is an easy thing eh so vila ali go back akarudi eh akaenda akarudi sio akaandika song nyingine sasa na msana anaitwa jigi inaitwa tabia mbaya <laughs> my title very funny titles hapa yeah. <laughs> me improve <laughs> the song the song jigi sasa yeye ndio ikawa hiyo shida ni kama amemwachia jigi was also a victim <laughs> of the same he was he was a raga guy like alikuwa na rap raga sana so jigi also we had we had other projects tulikuwa tume work na ye previously yeah? so he was not new uh, so tukawa tukazidi hivyo hivyo um and then uh, badai sasa after i think that song i, I think after tabia mbaya if i'm not wrong hey, this shenanigans za kuja nairobi na kurudi kisi you need to stop eh we move in na mimi we can start from there your time i remember i used to stay in a small room eh? it was a like bed sit i used to pay around is it 6 g's that time kamwambia we come kwani iko nini tutanini we'll figure tuta figure out kwenda mbele then the guy akaniambia okay let me think about you akaenda then eh? baadaye ndiye akaniambia okay now i'm ready acha nikuje tufanye hiyo tufanye kazi vile vile ali move to nairobi eh? there is one thing we used to do cuz nilimwambia i know well, you're not you're not that good in singing eh? but you can learn so niko anamwambia sasa hapa lazima tukue serious we need to tuanze ma homework hapa kama watoto wa shule so nilikuwa nampea homework in the morning eh na mwambia you need to practice this song i remember i gave him a song for Craig David eh you need to uh, uh, well run you, you don't miss your water till the well runs dry something like that so nilikuwa nampea you need to practice this guy is our ni my legend wa kuimba so if you want to sing at least try to sing these songs eh so nilikuwa namwachia assignment na mwambia nikirudi jioni at least unaweza sing these songs Eh, nikirudi napata jamaa hakuna kitu ameshika <laughs> alikuwa anaona na mtes eh ninamwambia unajua the next project we are not going at when to record unless ushike hii song eh hapo nikaona amechangamka sasa ikabidi ametia bd akashika shika hizo songs na and those songs that they really help uh, migi to develop the musical here in Eden na hizi nguo zangu hii mawanda yangu Imagine kionekana barabara sa Texas. Dile julgana na hizo. Hata wazungu walikuwa wanaangalia hivi. Eh. Ai, anashangai ni nini? Eh. Yenyewe walikucha waka wakafurai tukawafurahisha. Sasa tukarudi. Wakati turudi kutoka hapo, tulikaa tukakaa tukakaa tena 2018. Tena tukarudi hapo US. Tena tukachapa show ingine. Hizo zote tena tulipita hivyo venye tulipita. Ni vile sasa kama Texas show ya kwanza tulikuwa tunachapia Arlington. Ndio Texas ni kubwa sana ni kama Kenya. Ni kama Kenya yote. Sasa ni kama tulichapia Nairobi tena tukaenda Mombasa inaitwa sasa Houston. Mm, kana Houston tukachapa na hapo Minnesota pia Texas na Minnesota na New Jersey hizo ni stronghold ya OKC kisi tubu hapo sasa wakati tangu wakati huo mpaka saa hii tunaendelea hata saa hii tuko jikoni tunataka kuunda song nyingine eh hey. hey, oh tukitoka wakati wa kwanza tukitoka US hey. tuliunda song nyingine hmm. inaitwa safari ya ngambo safari ya ngambo eh hey. uh-huh. hey, nyenye sasa ikwe na ongelea vile tulienda mkabanda ndege eh hey, vile tulipanda ndege na yote tulipitia <laughs> mimi ni jam, ni mchama mzuri ni mchama mzuri Chu, kuna wajama wengine aki akichulikana kidogo hivi eh, anapadilisha hata mwendo oh, hata dressing yeah. eh, hata vile anatembea yeah. hata kuzimama azalimie watu hmm? yeah. hata kuzalimia watu 
Unaona? Ako down to art. Mm. Eh? Tena mihi eh, anapenda kila mtu na hakuna bidii. Hmm? Hakuna bidii sana kwa muziki. Ako kitu yeyote tu anataka kufanya huwa na kuanga serious. Eh? Ndio maana amefika penye amefika hapa. Mm. Tu, 20 2000 and after after now working on all these songs eh? 2010 we planned an album launch. We did it uh, in a club called Backyard. Eh? That time that guy was so supportive. There's, there's, there's this one guy who used to own a club. I think up to this time he owns clubs. He was, yes, his name is Injuguna. Yeah, he was really supportive of me. Other as I think I'll go and and I'm going to song and I'll record now. But your person is going to pick up studio. Should you make me come? I'll go and I'll get a chin. But he was really supportive. The guy was really supportive. I'll go and I'm support. And I'm going to come and launch. I'm going to come and hapa. Kuja. Kumajina na ito Njuguna, Simon Njuguna. Mini mkazi wa hapa kisi. Kwa miaka yote hiyo. Na tumekua tukifanya biashara ya entertainment industry. For all this time. Na tumekua na club. Mashuri yambaye ilikuja ika fungwa. Ili backyard group. Heyo nilikuwa flagship uh, club yetu hapa mjini. Na tulimenta vijana wengi sana wakati huo wa kimuziki kwa na dance lakini kutokana na hali ya kiuchumi uh, ikabidi tuifunge kwa sasa bado tupo tuko kwenye biashara hiyo hiyo tu uh, tunafanya uh, ba, Bella Vista na pia tuna Habana pia tuna Jazz Club na zinginezo Miki the champion, ni memjua kwa meka mingi sana. Um, akiwa mdogo, alikuwa kikuja club yetu pale backyard. Akiwa mdogo sana, nafikia alikuwa badu yuko high school. Na alikuwa napenda mwamba ya kurap na ku, 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 kucheza hizi hip hop. So, tukamjua. Na mimo nyendo ni ni muambia wewe ukiendele hivi, utenda mbagi. Yeah, nafiki kwa 2001, there 2002. I'm not sure, but it was a young man. Alikuja, wakati flani tulikuwa tunafanya show, na akashinda the first uh, hit, na akashinda the second hit, na akashinda the final hit. Uh, wakati alishinda by scale. Uh, wakati uo, na... Tulishtuka kwa sababu migi elikuwa ni kijana mdogo sana. Na wale waliokuwa pale wali muambia, your future is bright. Na kwa kweli, siku hizi na muona kwa TV, na muona kwa mtandao, kila sehemu na wana ngawa meongeza kilo kidogo, lakini <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. After that, alipomaliza shule, alikuwa na... He, alipuchiza mziki kidogo kidogo ndi akani kujia na kukiri ilikuwa 2006-2007 akani kujia kwa ofisi akani eleza kwa mba anataka kutoa ngoma na, na, na msani mmoja hapo na hana pesa so tuka ongea na ye peratibu hapo nika msaidia na tangu wakatuo tumekua tukisaidia na tu kila mara najua na mziki kenya kabla uja shika nakuwa na shida hapa na pale lakini tumekua tukisaidiana so vile song ilitoka migi alikuja kaniambia kani venye hiyo song ilicheza hivi kila mtu walisimama hata ye haku amini he didn't believe it the song was ili receive vizuri now the thing the only thing the only makosa he did he didn't do a video at that time yeah, so but the song ilienda ikaenda na ikaenda. It was a very good song. Na venye Mr. Ngali ingia kwa hiyo al jump on it, you know he never disappoints and uh, kill it. Yeah, 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 ilikuwa very good style. Yeah, hiyo alichapa hiyo nini Mr. Ngali yake hiyo nini live hapo. So working with these guys it's a good experience. Yeah. Now this song ligi kubwa after imetoka ilitoka nje ikakuwa song kubwa venye tu hiyo jina ligi kubwa song pia ikakuwa kubwa 
I remember hata mzazi uh, at some point aliambia Migi eh hii song ime hii song watu wameikubali si unifanyie jingle ya nini ni ni, ni, ni kama bed kama intro ya show yangu ya mambo mseto then uh, nikamwambia haina problem cuz pia it's a win win so nikamwambia let's do that tukafanye hiyo jingle hiyo jingle ilichezwa for like uh, more than a year i think uh, three years yeah it'll go for like three years three good years some guys used to think that <laughs> that's the yeah ame, ameiba <laughs> jingle <laughs> akafanya song cuz the jingle unajua you know jingle show ikianza it's easier watu ku, kushika plus the melody was catchy yeah? so when ilitoka hivyo ndio watu pia wakaanza maybe kukuwa na hizo hiyo notion like maybe ah huyu ame sample nini jingle ya mambo mseto yeah so the song did good yeah so sasa so, now it it came to a time i think when it goes to shows eh? anaenda kuperform hiyo ligi kubwa badala naimba nini hivyo badala watu wajibu ligi kubwa inakuwa wanajibu mambo mseto cuz cuz ilikuwa like watu wame shika hiyo jingle more than the, the, the actual song wow, wow. my name is the blackest man in black africa uncle fred obachi machoka nilifikia time sasa migi ni kama hata ameanza kukua kama producer ameanza kuelewa finya record ni hapa i talked to him the other time and we try and make like a school so that you can try and nature these young upcoming musicians i don't remember how we met with migi but i like him i think he's a nice guy 